May you always have a clean shirt. A clear conscience. And enough coin in your pocket to buy, buy a, a pint. pint. Yeah. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome to Simple Diversion. My name is Graham. My name is Rob. And today we're going to be talking about cheap scotch to buy. Scotch to buy on a, a budget. budget. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and become a part of the community. Yes. Alright, love to have you. Let's get going. Do you remember? Yeah. We've done... <laughs> we've done cigars on a budget. Yes. American whiskey on a budget. Yes. In the past, we've done whiskey under 40. Yep. And under 50. Yes. Something that hasn't been done a lot on YouTube or whatnot is cheap scotch, cheap good scotch to buy or scotch on a budget. Not just whiskey, American whiskey, Irish. Well, it's hard to find a few to, to list because scotch is a bit higher. Yeah. Priced. It is. So I, th I think this would be good for the the community out there that's watching us. If they want to try something a little cheaper, they haven't really dug into scotch, they're looking at the prices, seeing that it's like $65, and we're here to tell you, you can find some good good scotch under 40. So it's for you guys on a budget, it also could be for you guys that are beginners, just coming yep. into the, uh, yep. the community. Quick sidebar here. This is our list of best scotch to buy on a budget. There are no clear-cut winners, we're just gonna name a few, but these are subject to our taste buds and our opinion. So you might not agree, that's okay. Um, obviously we can't choose everybody's favorite on here and people tend to have different likes and dislikes, so yeah. just uh, keep that in mind. This is our list. This is not official, this is not fact. It's our opinion. But if you choose, it could be your list too. So here we have the Glenlivet 12 year. It is the most famous malt whiskey in uh, all the world. Pretty much. Yeah. It runs at 40 ABV. Yep. And yeah, I mean, it's what? Some people are probably going to be like, oh, Glenlivet, how original. You couldn't find. But you can't fault it for being. But it's the one you always hear about. Good. And if you always hear about it There's a and you're on a budget, go try it. This is gonna be one of the most readily available, this and Glenfiddich. I prefer this over the Glenfiddich 12. They're both comparable. But... Yeah, they are. When it comes to the 12 year, I prefer Glenlivet. When it's 15 and beyond, I prefer Glenfiddich. I would say the Glenfiddich 12 would be an honorable mention because yeah. it is around the same price range. This is gonna be, these will prices will be at our lowest price point that we can find them for. This is $37 or 35 to 37. It's, it's gonna be like soft, elegant, and you're gonna get notes of vanilla, fruit, toffee. Yeah, it's well, like a grassy. It's it's like your typical scotch, and like it's a space side. It is a space side. So that's where you get some of the fruit and some of them softer notes. I definitely get a lot of vanilla when I'm drinking this, and that's I really like vanilla in my scotches, and that's kind of why I like some Irish whiskey as well. Yeah, um, because I get that um, on the Splash on the, of the tongue. Vanilla. I get drunk tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Been a while. The finish has a little bit of spice too. I like that. Mmm. Do you like it? I do. I really like the finish. I think the finish is my favorite part of this. I like when it first hits your tongue. It's really well balanced, I think. It's not challenging, not, not overly challenging. But sometimes scotch doesn't need to be that. It's just something to, to enjoy and. Yeah. Not complicate things because life's so complicated already. So, Glen Levitt 12 is on our, on our list to go try. And if you, you have already, if you already give it another it. shot. Why don't you have a glass in your hand? Next on our list <sighs> for about $30. This is probably one of the cheapest scotches you can get, and it is well and renowned. You can even sometimes find it cheaper than that. Yes. With like glasses, like get the glasses with it and everything for yeah. 30 bucks. And it's, you can, yeah, you get the samplers. Yeah. Um, you get the samplers with the, uh, uh, you know, the little guys in there too for 30 bucks. You're, there's always deals, there's always gift packs. This was aged 10 years. It is a Highland whiskey. 
It has notes of like honey and uh, sweet, a sweet honey, sweet spice, spice, um, just maltiness. Yeah, well, maybe a little bit of fruit in there as well, but yep. it's it's going to be comparable to a. I wouldn't kind say of it's a... as fruity as Glenlivet, but it does have to me. Okay. It's, it's going to be drier than your typical space side. Kind of, okay. it's hard to explain drier, but. Um, you know, in like some of the space sides, you get that gushing fruitiness and it almost makes you salivate. Yeah. I think you're gonna, the same thing, but it's just more of a dry. So you don't flavor. salivate? No. <laughs> it says here, honeyed sweetness fused with notes of citrus, vanilla, and almonds, making it a delicate, alluring, yeah. very complex. It was pretty nice. I don't know if I'd call it complex, but it's. It's complex for 30 bucks. For 30 bucks. <laughs> this is a steal for $30. It is. And it's something that you should go try. Again, this is on a lot of people's lists, so it's not really a surprise. But at the same time, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, if it's good, it's good. So if you're on a budget, you're on a budget. Go, go, go get it. it. Here we have the Tomatin 12 year, which is 43 ABV and is aged in uh, oak. No, <laughs> aged in <laughs> bourbon and sherry cast. Yep. And uh, I mean, you get you get hints of what pears. Yeah. Um, Fruit, yeah, green apple. Um, <laughs> so this is going to be another Highland region. It is going to be a very sweet whiskey, and I think that's kind of where you're getting those green apples. This is also going to be about thirty dollars, which for a twelve year is pretty awesome, I think. Very. And we're kind of new to the game of Tomatin, where we came late, we weren't really familiar with it, but once we we tasted it, we were on board. Um, you can get the eighteen year for like. $65. So it's very reasonably priced. I don't know how they're making any money on this because they're aging things for 12 years and they're selling it for 30 bucks. So. <laughs> oh, you got some, huh? This open? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I love, I still love the twisties. The twist. But then you pop it. The twist. Uh -huh. Pop, pop, twist, lock, seal. Pop, lock, and drop it. The next one on our list of cheap whiskeys to buy is one you might not know about because it just arrived on the market in 2017, Rob. Wow, 2017 already. And that was the Highland Park Magnus. This is uh, one that we have reviewed. Yep. And uh, we tend to like Highland Park a lot. Wow. Highland Park comes out with a great, great lineup. Yeah. Um, this is going to be a non-age statement. Yes. Very smoky. Mm, I don't know if I'd say very. Well, I mean... Not Try extremely. It. It's got smoke, but it's, but it's smoky for those for those beginners that we're talking to in budget. I would it's, say it's got the heather smoke or the heather peat. I take that back. It has a heather smoke. <laughs> so if you asked me that question, which was my favorite, and then you add this one in, you would say that. Yeah, it's different. Uh, Highland Park is going to be an island region. It is the most northerly distillery of Scotland and yes. the Orkney Islands. And this is at 40%? Yes, it is. Okay. And it is about $34. Wow. Which is pretty affordable. Um, the 12 is a step up, but it's going to be about 12 to 13 $15 more. A clean, sweet citrus with maybe a little bit of lemon. I'm getting a little fig. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of fig. <laughs> I get a lot of that lemon at, on the... Uh, the aftertaste, the finish. Not gonna be complex, but it's gonna be fun to drink. It's enjoyable. Yeah. And it's kind of the little brother to full volume. Full it volume really has those, those full volume, flavors that, that's as well. That's a good scotch. But that's $80. Mm. Yeah. This you're paying like a third of the price, a little bit more, but about half. Yeah. Fuck. This is more like an eight where full volume is like. <laughs> What's next on our list, Rob? We gotta have something from Isla, Here right? Here we have the Lafroy Triple Wood, <laughs> which it's not in a very low budget, but no. we um, actually... This is only about 50. Yeah. But, but what we want to talk about, cut. though, is the Lafroy 10. This is a stand-in. Yeah, this is a stand-in. We don't have Lafroy 10 anymore right now, um, but we will be getting some soon. Yeah, we have to, because yeah. we want to do Lagavulin 16 versus Lafroy. Ardbeg versus, versus Lafroy. Lafroy. Lafroy, Lafroy is, be... is definitely on the smoky side. Yes. Yeah. You're going to have a ton <coughs> of peat there. Um, Lafroy is going to be right at that top end of a budget whiskey where we can find it for 40. I know some of you can't find it for like under 50, but I'm sorry. Move to Wisconsin. We, we find it for 40. <laughs> so it has just hit the list. 
And we, we really wanted a, a peaty whiskey on yeah. there, so here you have it, Lafroy 10. If you like that peat or you've heard of that smoky flavor and you want to try something reasonably priced, get the Lafroy 10. Try it out. On the nose, it's going to be um, very peaty, like we said, with some seaweed and some sweetness. Yes. And then on the palate, it's going to be, again, very peaty, kind of medicinal flavors mm -hmm. with salty sweetness. Laphroaig is my least favorite of those trio. Yeah. The Lagavulin and the Ardbeg. Are you sure? It is. And it's because of the finish. The finish is that sweetness, but it throws me off and we've talked See, about I it See, I feel videos. the same way, but with Ardbeg. I love Ardbeg and then I don't like the finish. So, I mean, it's not that I don't like the finish, but we'll talk about Laphroaig, because we're not talking about Ardbeg, we're talking about Laphroaig. That's so right. let's continue with Laphroaig. So Laphroaig, I do enjoy the whiskey. It's not one of my favorites, but I know you like it a lot and I know the, it's a very popular um, it Peter whiskey, and it is reasonably priced. So forty dollars, most expensive one on our list, um, but you have to have it. Here is one that not a lot of people are going to know about or have on their list. So yeah. I think some something for us to really offer you guys is something new to try. Yeah, and that's the Alcantoshan American Oak. Alcantoshan, forty percent <laughs> ABV. Uh -huh. It is a lowland. Mm. A lowland, not a highland. A, but a lowland, lowland scotch. Triple distilled. It says here that you get vanilla, coconut with clean citrus zest. I did get a hint of coconut. It's really good. It is. It is. It really is. Um, it is matured in first fill bourbon casks. That means um, that it's basically... Those bourbon casks were used for bourbon. bourbon. But it's the first time that they're using them for scotch. Because right. they can use them over and over yeah. again. But they're, this is exclusively first fill. The American Oak was introduced in 2014, and it took over for the classic, um, the Alcantoshan classic. <laughs> Tony Stewart. This was actually given an 80, 85 and a half by Jim Murray in his Whiskey Bible, which is a pretty respectable score. Yep. Um, the Highland Park 12 got a 79 mm. for the 2017 year, by the way, so it is a little outdated. But yeah. I mean, that's pretty respectable for a cheap whiskey. It is. This is going to be $34. It's not bad. If you haven't, try the Alcantoshan American Oak. It's fun to say too. Alcantoshan. Alcantoshan. Sure it's not Alcantoshan. And here we have our final, and that would be the Talisker Storm. And this is a single malt whiskey made by the sea. So you need to know. Go buy it. Highest ABV <laughs> of all of our choices. What is it? 40, 45.8%. Yep. Wow. Gotta have that 0. 0.8 in there. It is from the Isle of Skye, yeah. which, like you said, it's made by the ocean. Lots of yeah. weird lot of, weather, wind. Lot of storms, wind out there. Um, and it, it does have that salty seaweed a little bit. Not as, not like Highland Park or anything, but it does have that salty where it does feel like it's made by the sea. So it is an on age statement. Yep. They don't list that. Now you might have heard of the Talisker 10. Yep. Which. It's a little more pricey. I would say double 70, the price. 70 bucks. And this we yeah. can find for about 36, 35.99, so 36 dollars. Um, it is going to have the get that's actually ramped up from the 10 with the, pe the not the peatiness, but smoke. But the flavor is going to be kind of like a warm smokiness with kind of like a pepper bomb to it. Yeah. Um, like you mentioned, you get a little bit of the seaweed or the sea air, yeah. some honey. Again, I wouldn't say it's peaty, but this is another good one if you want a little bit of smoke. Mm -hmm. Um, for a reasonable price. I think this is like more of a classic feel scotch as well. It is. Won't break the bank nope. and it's a very respectable. Come home to the wife and she'll never know. So there you have it. Here is our list of scotch to buy on a budget. Single malt scotch to buy on a budget. Um, the only one not pictured here is the Lafroy 10. Um, go out and try these if you haven't already and uh, let us know what you think. What's your favorite scotch on a budget? Does your list differ a whole lot from ours or have we Kind of got some of uh, the same ones. Sad because I would say Laphroaig 10 is probably my favorite out of these eight, which is probably why we don't have any. <laughs> gone. Hi everybody, uh, please like and subscribe to this video, to our channel, be a part of the Facebook and Instagram community. And until next time, see you soon. See you soon.